Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Crackdown 3. So, in my previous videos, I've done my first impression review on the day that the game was released and also a review of the agency vehicle. And this is going to be my final review. And seeing as the game has only been out for one week, that kind of says a lot really. The game, quite frankly, is just absolutely appalling. It's terrible. Now, the fact that they are asking for over £50 for this game is shameful of any developer out there. And I'm pretty sure most people will agree with me. It is way too expensive. Now, the fact that I got this game on Xbox Game Pass, which, when I got Game Pass, was £2 for two months, I still feel ripped off. That's right, £2, and it's still way too expensive. This game... The fact that it's been in development for, what, five years? It's atrocious. It really is. The controls are horrible. The controls of the vehicle are horrible. The auto-aim is way too powerful. The graphics, not very good for what modern games are. And overall, the game, quite frankly, is just not worth playing. It really isn't. And then we get to the online version. Now, I really thought this was going to be amazing. You know, being able to go around online, shooting other, other agents, all these different abilities. It's basically just bunny hopping galore. It really is. It's just everyone jumping everywhere. And that's if you can keep track of them with the amount of lag that is in it. Now, I played the online version for 10 minutes... And I actually quit out because it was so terrible. It's just, it's not worth playing. It really isn't. Now, some of you may disagree with me. And that's entirely up to you. This is just my opinion. But, quite frankly, every single person that was involved in making this game should be ashamed of themselves. So, why do I think it's that bad? Well... The storyline I managed to complete in, I, I think it was about five hours. And that was without rushing through it. That was through going around collecting all the different orbs. Uh, doing all the side missions. And upgrading every ability. Fully upgraded and absolutely horrendous still. You take hardly any damage at all. The boss battles are way too easy you just stand there and shoot and you win and once you're fully upgraded one punch kills about five enemies it's just way too easy to play it's almost as if they made this game for five-year-olds it really is so i say let, let's give it a rating out of 10 minus two that is honestly what i would give it is a minus score just purely because it's way too easy to complete. The controls are horrible. The steering, horrible. The design, horrible. And, I mean, when it first started in the opening cutscene, they had Terry Crews. Now, I was so excited. I absolutely love Terry Crews. He is a fantastic actor, fantastic comedian, fantastic presenter. He, he's brilliant. But maybe they should have not paid him so much money and spent more money developing the game. I, I honestly feel sorry for the people who actually bought this game outright. It is just so poor. So that has been my review of this game. Obviously some of you won't agree with me. Most of you probably will though. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it is a bit of a downer, but I'm just trying to give you my honest opinion of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video if you did like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.